the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. Today is Sunday, March 14th, 2021, and this is the Sports Vote Campaign Update. So once again, I just want to reinforce that we just need a single fundraise, a single example, whether it's esports or physical sports, to showcase uh, publicly through our public relations channels, and that will bring this project to fruition. I'd also like to point out that we will make money as an enterprise. The exchange will make money from the first day. You won't have to wait years and years uh, maybe never, in the case of some of these gambling operations, to turn a profit. The Wall Street hype machine is on absolute overdrive. I've never seen it as bad as it is now. It really puts questions in my mind as to whether the regulators are paying any attention to these um, analyst activities and the hyping of stock. I've never seen it as bad as, as, as it is right now. On March, four, um, March 13th, 2021, which was yesterday, the total market capitalization reached a new record, uh, all-time high for us. Gary Gensler is going to be the director of the SEC, or is, if he's not been confirmed yet, I'm not sure. Uh, talking about tightening up the SPAC rules, uh, he was with the CFTC. Uh, I believe he was the director of the CFTC, and I, I'm pretty sure that Sharon said that they were friends at, at one point in the past when I met with her. There's a new market out there called Fandex, not Fantex. Uh, it's formatted as a game. It is not in category for us. I guess nobody's learned anything from the $50 million that was lost in the last attempt with Fantex. Um, interestingly, nobody ever actually copies our exact model. There's always pretty substantial variations uh, to, the, to the model, and so far not one of them has worked. Um, ASM is alive this uh, longer this cycle than it was during the original first go-round from Costa Rica. We've now had the market live longer than that period. So the market cap does not always go up. That's not true. Bonus margin when people sell off, if it's on the uh, pilot market side uh, and they sell off their positions returning bonus margin through their accounts, that pushes the index down. So it does go up and down. You can clearly see that in the table. Uh, I put, put the tables in the notice board uh, periodically, and you can see the numbers rising and falling. So it is not true that they always rise. So I'd like to address the issue with the conversion of the pilot market to uh, the real market. How is that going to work? So there are three. Uh, well, right now there are two engines. There's the learning market engine and the pilot market engine. The running market engine is the uh, free-to-play money, the fake money. The pilot market is what we call the loaned money market, which contains, uh, right now, it trades the four major leagues. And the way we're able to do that is because of the nonprofit status. We've actually been contacted by their licensing agents before about this, and we pointed to the nonprofit and the fact that we're in a test market phase. So what has to happen here is the third market instance is started up with the uh, new league um, that we're actually going to fundraise for, or leagues. We build the volume on that market, and then we bring down the pilot market through a formula. There will definitely be a divisor, a very substantial one, uh, you know, deter to remove the bonus margin. All that will be be very specifically spelled out, including the dates, and then we bring the pilot market over into the real market and shut down the the pilot market. So uh, a few things have to happen before this can happen. Obviously, we need the uh, the first, at least the first league fundraise that we can showcase, if not more than one. That market needs to be healthy, you know, needs to be active with a lot of trading. And then we pull across through a formula that we will publish along with the dates We'll pull across the pilot market uh, by shutting it down, removing the bonus margin, shutting it down, converting it into buying power that goes into the uh, into the number three market, into the into basically the final market. So what we'll end up with is the learning market, 
the bonus margin market, which is the pilot market, will be shut down, and then the real money market will be the live market. So there will be two markets, two final markets, but not the same two final the two markets that are running now. We're also going to need to make some sort of deal with the uh, the major leagues because in order to move them out of the test mode of the pilot market and into the final stage, we're going to have to have some kind of an agreement with them. So that is a condition that has to be met in order to do that. So um, there's been a, a, a $70 million sale of basically a JPG file um, through an NFE, NFT, which I'm admittedly not a non-fungible token. I'm not familiar with this. It kind of appeared out of nowhere. So I don't want to comment too much on this at this moment because I'm not fully familiar with how this works. Uh, I will say that if you can sell a, uh, a, a digital file, uh, just a JPG file, an image file, for $70 million, um, we're in a very strange place in the world right now. Uh, I'll go back to um, our original claim that, you know, let's start building things that are real. If there's so much money sloshing around to buy these invisible things, basically, these things you can't touch, uh, I guess invisible is not the right word, but you can't put your hands on them. Um, you know, how much better to actually build, you know, an infrastructure or be part of the infrastructure plan to rebuild the country and in broader terms, the world by expanding sports through sports investing, by investing in sports performance, which is a real thing. So $70 million somebody can throw around for an image file. Seems to me that makes the case uh, it should not be as difficult as it has been to find someone willing to take money. The issue for us is not the raising of money. The issue is we need to find someone who we can finance and showcase. It's actually the opposite problem. That's what we need. Uh, when that happens, then the press will pay attention. Uh, the market will come alive. And then whatever capital requirements we have to finish the project basically to, to fix everything up and bring it all where it should be. Those figures will be determined after we do the fundraise and not before. So the problem that we really have is the problem of giving money away, not raising money. As strange as that may sound is the truth. So if you find this interesting or helpful, or if you know anybody that's uh, been part of ASM in the past that maybe hasn't caught up on things, please share this with them. Review it if you feel so inclined and subscribe if you want to be notified. It also helps with the um, search algorithms. The show notes for each episode will always contain uh, any particular details that are important and also the current list of uh, links and resources to everything that we have available. Thank you very much, and I will speak with you again next week. Bye now.